Assalamu alaikum and very good evening to everyone. Firstly, I would like to extend our very profound and sincere apologies to get the proceedings for this evening underway with a delay. I would not like to explain what happened, but it is very evident that the site where we are having this event has been handed over to, or by the management was prepared or got ready by delay, and that caused us to start these proceedings with a delay. I would not like to delay these proceedings any further, and I make my own personal introduction. I am Shahid Shakur. I am the CEO of the Concept Fertility Center in Pakistan. And just to save time, I decided that I would get this underway by having the Pakistan national anthem started at the start played. Please play the Pakistan national anthem. I would request everybody please kindly to stand up. Thank you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Good evening, Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to extend you all a very warm welcome to the first international. Fertility Conference 2019 in Karachi. We are grateful to you all who have accepted our invitation to support and promote this event. The Concept Fertility Center is the only international and the Australian premier medically assisted reproductive center in Pakistan devoted to the service of infertile couples for the last 23 years. I recall the late 1990s when Dr. Bruce Balange and Dr. Kiran Shahid were conducting free fertility clinics in Karachi. A male patient in his late 40s attended their clinic. He informed them I have come with three younger wives in their 20s and 30s for consultation who are seated in the waiting area. The oldest one, the fourth one, at home in her 40s and is also infertile. Both Bruce and Kiran looked at each other, Bruce commenting, Kiran, should I be explaining him, or do you want to tell him? Kiran said, I would. And of course, the male patient was told, you have the infertility problem, not your wives. I find it relevant to quote a question articulated by Feeney, by Eileen, uh, Eileen Feeney, chief executive of the Fertility Network 
United Kingdom in a recent publication. Is it negligence or ignorance that fertility is seen as a female problem? I would, of course, unreservedly say ignorance. Fast forward 30,000 years to our apparently advanced age, and it seems we have learned nothing. We do not teach our children how important fertility is. They do not know the basics, its possibilities, and limitations. They are not aware of how easily the flame of fertility is extinguished by age, weight, drugs, disease, occupation, and environment. Collectively, we are only now beginning to recognize the potentially devastating impact that the 21st century lifestyles may be having on fertility, especially sperm health. We are failing our offspring and future generation if age and fertility are not part of sex, sex education, unquote. I'm happy to say that the concept Fertility Center Pakistan has proactively and through its ceaseless awareness campaigns contributed to raise the level of awareness about infertility amongst the Pakistani couples in the last 23 years. Now, couples of all social strata come to our clinics keen to get medical advice about their infertility and their causes. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not propose to delay the proceedings, which already we understand, we, as I'm aware of, we, this is a really delayed of this evening. However, I wish to say that we are committed to dual aims of providing world-class quality fertility services and treatment in Pakistan, and to intensify our efforts for giving sound information and knowledge about infertility problems to the concerned couples through our awareness campaigns. We always act according to medically approved ethical standards in the performance of our duties. People everywhere, particularly in the developing countries, need scientific education. It is the only way to overcome ignorance and superstition. We are striving to promote research-oriented scientific education to meet the problems of infertile couples. I would like to end by extending on behalf of the concept our gratitude and our special thanks to each of our international delegates who have attended the conference in this very busy and hectic world, we appreciate you for taking the time and effort to join us in Karachi. We also, we also thank you for your participation and the sharing of your ideas and expertise. Our team and local delegates are thrilled to meet you all. And my very special tribute and profound thanks to Professor Dr. Sadia Paul, our medical director for her vision and for her ceaseless dedication in organizing this very successful, the concepts, first international fertility conference. <laughs> and to Wasim Khan, the country manager, and Dr. Uzma, our talented coordinator, for their hard work and to our staff's teamwork and energy. The conference has been a great success in all possible respects. I would like to thank you and congratulate you all. I hope 
that you enjoy the rest of the conference and this evening events and colorful entertainment. Thank you. I would like now to invite Dr. Sadia Paul, Professor Paul to please come and she will take the proceedings from here. Professor Paul, please. Assalamu alaikum and welcome everybody. I'm so honored to have the stellar people, the stellar gynecologists and professors from all over Pakistan here. It's a great honor to have you in my city. Um, so I'm not going to say anything much, just that I'm very happy to have you all here. You've heard enough all day. And we have, uh, uh, all I'm going to tell you is that we want to honor somebody today. Uh, we do not have a chief guest uh, who is going to be a politician or uh, even from other specialities. We had a big debate about it for months and months. And then we decided to have it like a surprise. And uh, our chief guest is no other than Professor Rashid Latif Khan. So, so I don't think he needs to stand up even because everybody knows him. And since the time he has arrived in this hotel, selfies he selfies ho rahi hain. Everybody is, you know, lining up to have pictures taken with him. Uh, as you can see, the brief bio profile uh, and we introduced him in the morning as well. He's really the fi father of IVF in Pakistan. The first IVF baby, uh, the first IVF center, and a teacher of teachers. I think virtually every doctor in this hall has been taught by him directly or indirectly through his books. And the Lahoreites are particularly lucky because uh, um, they work directly with him, you know, uh, in clinical training, uh, in the lectures. And to this day, I'm told, and correct me if I'm wrong, the people who are still working with him, he still does a clinic, which is like a charity clinic. I mean, he's not really charging his fee. And I'm told by postgraduate students that he regularly has a morning meeting, uh, a clinical tutorial, where he even offers them breakfast and a cup of tea. Is that true? <laughs> yes. So that's really, really commendable. So I won't take more time. I have a request. Uh, Dr. Azra, can you, we have a small token of thank you for Professor Rashid. And would you like to say a few words, sir? Vahi se aap bol le, aap ke li. But we would like you to stand up and say it. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Sadia ne kaha ke vahi se bol do. मैंने कहा नहीं मैं यहां से बोलूंगा वजह सिर्फ यह थी कि यहां आने का मकसद सादिया का हाथ भी पकड़ना था <laughs> सबसे पहले तो मैं कांसेप्ट इनफर्टिलिटी क्लिनिक को मुबारकबाद देता हूं कि वो 23 साल से यह मुश्किल काम है बहुत मुश्किल काम है इसमें लगे हुए Asan nahi. They must have had so many difficulties on en route. They can, fir bhi, perseverance is the word. You persevere, you keep at it, keep doing it. 
and eventually God will bless you with success which you have now. Second, this is the first international conference. I think we have reached this stage rather late. We should have been doing this many, many years ago because spreading this knowledge and information and alleviating that phobia, it, this is our responsibility. Those who are working in the clinics, they know the difficulties, they know as cultural and social taboos. So this is our responsibility. So this is the first international, I hope, concept and other centers also will join hands with them to have it a regular fashion, regular concept meetings. Second is, organizing a conference is not easy. Just small difficulty, which you mentioned just now, that hall was handed over to you at seven, when you were supposed to start the function at seven. So these logistics, they make things difficult for you and for us. And in spite of that, inviting so many international guests, and they have really elevated the standard of scientific presentations, for which on your behalf and on my behalf, I thank them all for participating in this conference. You know, generally speaking, it is said that for one million population, you need one IVF center or fertility center. Pakistan has population of nearly 200 million. So practically, we need 200 IVF or infertility centers. Whereas from Peshawar to Karachi, if we count them all, maybe there are only 20. So we have to go long way in providing service to infertile couples. For that, all of us will have to join hands and push this service forward so that it is available in smaller cities and even villages. For that, I would request concept to set up a model hub and spoke that this is your headquarter here. Have small centers spread out so that their preliminary workup is done and then they are referred for final stages of IVF treatment to Karachi, which will make it possible for the patients and also we will be able to make a dent into the large number who need your services. During his presentation, Dr. Shakur, he mentioned husband brought three wives sitting there in the clinic and fourth, a younger one with him in the clinic. So married nearly four times and still not have a baby. From that I remember a story. My wife's uncle, he was in New York negotiating Indus Basin Treaty. And so he was there for many months. So he used to narrate a story that he was traveling by train. He went to the restaurant car and there were no seats, but two ladies were sitting and the seat, third seat was available. So he asked them, may I join you? They said, sure. He sat there. The two ladies were discussing their husbands and all social things like that. And then suddenly one of them turned around. Hey, man, are you married? And this uncle of my wife pondered for a few seconds. He said, but only half married. They said, what do you mean about half married? He said, I'm a Muslim. I'm allowed four. I have only two. <laughs> so the man who came to you with four, he was fully married. <laughs> and this is a normal story, everyday story. So finally, I must thank Sadia and her team for giving me this great honor. I feel it is a great honor. I'll cherish this all the time and hope that we'll join hands to spread this good work 
all over the country. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bless, please. Begin to do. Professor Rashid Latif, please. Thank you. Uh, I would like to continue, continue with that we have a message from our scientific director, Dr. Peter Burton from Perth. Uh, good wishes message for the conference. Please, Q. Uh, we should have the message from Peter, please. Good morning. On behalf of Concert Fertility Centre in Perth, I would like to extend a warm welcome to the first international fertility conference organised by Concert Fertility Centre in Karachi. I would dearly love to be with you today, but lecturing commitments at Edith Cowan University have prevented me from coming to Pakistan at this time. I'd like to congratulate the organising committee for putting together what I expect will be an informative and insightful program. At CONCEPT we value research highly and have an active research program, primarily focused on male infertility and the impact of sperm oxidative stress and apoptosis on our ART pregnancy outcomes. Our studies aim to provide data that will help optimise semen processing technology before ART procedures and before cryopreservation, which will ultimately improve the outcomes for our patients. I wish you all the best for a productive conference. Thank you, Peter. You should have been here, but we miss you. Uh, could we please, as the last item for, before we go to the music and the entertainment, uh, could we please play the Australian anthem? I would request everybody to please stand up. Australian anthem, please. <laughs>